Today's video sponsor is GVG More, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. See? As for today's video, we have another review of the Adrenaline Drivers after like over, over a, a month. month. And then we have the 23.8.1. And as I say in all my videos, 23 is the year, 2023, 8 is the month, August, and 1 is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of August. And I can tell you right away that these drivers have very interesting fixed issues and very, very interesting fixed issues that for most people uh, were a deal breaker before and now they finally can upgrade them or they finally can get an AMD GPU, a 7000 series mostly, without any issues. We have fixes, we have fixes for the high idle power in dual monitor setups, triple monitor setups and so on. We have fixes for, uh, for games like Ratchet & Clank, for Rocket League, for example, so we have very, very interesting things. And I actually believe that these drivers would bring some new features that I've seen uh, in some drivers that I have access to. I can't say what they were, but I can tell you that they, okay, I can say what they weren't. And I can tell you that it wasn't FSR 3, okay? But they had some really, really interesting features. Um, some features that were improved in a very good way. Um, some features that were already weighted. Uh, <laughs> that's all I can say, I guess. Um, but overall, there were very, very nice things and I actually believe that the 23.8.1 drivers would bring those but I guess they are waiting for the 25th to actually uh, show maybe the new cards the 7700 XT and the 7800 XT and release those new features uh, or those improved features uh, with those cards I guess that's the point but well as for the 23.8.1 drivers let's start with the release notes Firstly, we have highlights with support for Immortals of Avium or Avem. I don't really know how it's pronounced, I don't really care as well. And as for the fixed issues, we have lots of them, starting with improvements to high idle power when using select multi-display setups, using mixed high resolution and high refresh rate displays on Raiden RX 7000 series GPUs with variable refresh rate enabled. Further optimizations are being investigated to improve idle power on additional display configurations. And this is actually one of the most important fixes that we've seen. And if you're asking yourself if these fixes were actually true or if they are actually uh, if the high idle power situation is better by the way it is better as you can see for example even on the community post that i that i posted like two days ago or something like that there were lots of people actually telling that the, um, the drivers fixed their high idle power problems and if we go to reddit for example we also have people saying things like that that they went from like 100 watts uh idle with dual monitors to like 9 or 10 watts so it's a major difference for most people people that were already having uh or they were already using amd gpus can now rest in peace and finally have their gpus performing as they should from day one amd but anyway um and people actually thinking of buying amd gpus can be well they can get their minds rested because they will most likely not have this issue anymore now this isn't happening for all people the the, um, the fixes aren't happening for all people having problems so some people still have these issues but like i am the like amd says sorry they are uh, looking to improve they are looking to further improve the issues that are occurring regarding the high idle power so it will become better most likely to a point where it gets completely fixed which well it's bad that it's happening but it's good that AMD is actually lo actually looking into it and trying to fix it nice Performance drop may be experienced for DirectX 11 games on AMD Raiden RX 5600 XT when AMD Smart Access Memory is enabled. This is also an interesting thing because I got people like some months ago telling me that their 5600 XT were actually, was actually having problems when using, or in this case stutters or something like that, when using Smart Access Memory and I actually told them that, well, it sh most likely wasn't the card because uh, because, well, I had tested my card some months ago and it was working perfectly fine and so on, but it seems that 
they uh, weren't the, the ones lacking knowledge. I was. I was the dumb one here uh, because they were right. According to AMD, they were right. There was indeed stuttering issues with some DX11 games with a 5600 XT when using SmartX memory. So guys, sorry uh, if I told you that you actually uh, were doing something wrong, you were doing something wrong or something uh, unusual because it seems that the problem was real and I was the dumb one. Once again, sorry for that. And by the way, it seems it's fixed, so if it is indeed fixed, leave a comment in the comment section telling me that. Application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart with ray tracing and dynamic resolution scaling enabled on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 7900 XTX. Application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing StarCraft 2 on Raiden RX 7000 series GPUs. And if you are one of those legacy players, one of those old school players that still play for example StarCraft 2 or StarCraft Remastered or something like that, if you do like to play those, those older games games well, it seems that if you have an RX 7000 series, if you just happen to buy one or if you just bought one and it was poorly performing on StarCraft 2, now it seems that it is fixed. And if you were having these issues and if it is fixed with these drivers, once again, leave a comment in the comment section letting me and us know that. Intermittent corruption may be observed playing Rocket League with Bloom set to off on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 6900 XT. And this seems to be a problem uh, since the 23.7.1 drivers. 23.7.2 uh, drivers also had this issue with Rocket League. So people playing Rocket League uh, were actually using, for example, the 23.5.1 or 23.5.2 drivers. And it seems that finally they can upgrade to the newer ones with the 23.8.1 as that same Rocket League issue was finally fixed. Nice. And the final fixed issue is performance drop may be experienced for various games on AMD Ryzen processors with Radeon 700M series GPUs. So if you're running mobile CPUs with, well, with mobile processors, most likely mobile Ryzen's, well, it happens that you might have some, or you could have some performance drops in various games. And it seems that these drivers, the 23.8.1, actually fix the problem for, um, for the 7, 700M series with Ryzen processors. So it's a win-win situation for mobile processors, for mobile systems, sorry, mobile users. Well, it seems that some things were happening that shouldn't, but at least they're fixed now. But like I always tell you, these are the, the best things that we have now, the, the fixed issues, but it isn't all cotton candy and rainbows and unicorns or maybe just horses with horns. We also have the known issues. And the first known issue is performance metrics overlay may report NA for FPS on various games. Audio may intermittently become out of sync with video when recording from AMD Software Adrenaline Edition with the AV1 codec. So AV1 codec is only supported by the DRX 7000 series, so this is a, an issue mostly of the 7000 series. And even on the 7000 series, it isn't an issue for all 7000 series, because I even tested yesterday with these drivers, uh, the AV1 and the AGVC codecs and both were um, with the audio perfectly synced so it might happen for some users but it definitely doesn't happen for all of them. I'm one of those that don't have the issue. Display may not reach correct brightness with certain games on Samsung FreeSync Premium Pro displays and TVs when local dimming is enabled. A bummer, by the way. And the last one is application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing Baldur's Gate 3 with DirectX 11 API set on certain systems with a Raiden RX 7000 series GPUs. And once again, the, the, most of the problems are with the, the Raiden 7000 series GPUs, the RX 7000 series, and that's because they, uh, well, they are still maturing, they bring a completely new architecture, they are the first MCM multi-chip module uh, GPU, so it's normal that they have the most issues but they will be ironed out as the time passes by and on the next MCM generation GPUs they will most likely be much better because well AMD already has the bases and then they just have to improve which is well which is how things are done usually. And now as for my experience with these drivers, well, I don't have many things actually. Um, these drivers are more, well, they are more kind of um, let's say a placeholder for the, the next drivers to come that will bring lots of new things, by the way, once again. And well, the good things that I found is that Rocket League is finally fixed, yes. 
High idle power is much better for most users, which is a big plus, like I told you before. FreeSync seems smoother, at least for some users, not for me, I don't really notice any different, any different, sorry. But for some users in some displays, they say that FreeSync somehow feels smoother, so it, it, it happens that the FreeSync might be working better than before, or at least more sync than before. Maybe they just had issues before and when upgrading those issues right away, I don't really know. As for the bad things that I found, well, I actually had a crash uh, while testing these drivers. One, and it seems that was it. I played b after that, I did several things before that and I before not after that once again, and I had absolutely no issues, but I did have that crash. Another thing that I found is that the Windows size of the Radeon software after the 23.7.1 has a bug where the where I set a size for the window and after some times of closing it, it will resize itself to a really small window and that's annoying as hell because I keep having to resize the, the window to the biggest one, to the biggest size and it keeps resizing itself to a smaller size and it is very, very annoying and it needs to be fixed or I'll just punch my fucking money <laughs> anyway, uh, now seriously. And the final problem that I found is still happening, still the 23.7.1 drivers, oh sorry. Uh, it's still happening after the 23.7.1 drivers, which is with God of War and the shader cache loading. So in the previous drivers, the 23.5.1, 23.5.2, it was working perfectly and we had the game performing perfectly and the shader cache loading um, was basically, well, it was happening, but it was not causing stutters. While with this new version, it does cause stutters uh, at the first time you load things when the shader cache is actually loading. And I do believe that the issue is that uh, it seems that AMD enabled after the 23.7.1 drivers, they also enabled uh, the X9 and 11 optimizations for the RX 5000 series, so for the RDNA 1 GPUs, and it seems that that's kind of messing with the shader cache loading in some older APIs, like once again the X9 and the X11, and they still need to fix that. I guess that's the issue. But anyway guys, that's all for today's video, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video, and as always, leave your comment in the comment section letting me and us know your experience, because once again, and as I tell you in many of my videos, that's the reason I make these videos for us as a community to work way better, to exchange problems, to exchange um, actually experiences, experiences, sorry, uh, in order to improve um, as one and as a community, uh, well, because that's how things go on, we, sh we show our problems, we solve our issues, and that's how things work, and that's beautiful. Thanks a lot for watching once again, guys, and see you in the next video. facility immediately. We promise nothing nefarious will befall you. We promise. Resistance members, report to the VIP section of your nearest intake facility for compulsory behavioral modification. It will be fun.